Hey folks, Dr. Jamar Tisby here, and I want to tell you about a project I've been working on and pouring my heart and soul into. It is a video teaching series called Those Meddling Kids Unmasking the Anti-CRT Crusade in Christian Higher Ed. Now let me give you a little bit of the backstory around this, and then I'll tell you specifics about the teaching series. So if you've been following my work uh, this year in 2022 especially, you've seen some stuff come up with, regarding me and a school called Grove City College. Grove City College is in western Pennsylvania. It's an extremely conservative, fundamentalist school really, and they branded themselves as such, meaning they get their money and they get students based on how far to the right they can be. And so I was invited there by some personnel at the college, and I gave a chapel talk. I spoke with students. I spoke to their um, diversity committee, which has since been disbanded. And I gave an evening presentation, a book talk on my book, The Color of Compromise. The part that sparked a lot of controversy was the chapel message I gave, which, by the way, was the only recorded portion of my visit there. So that went out on their typical channels, and uh, it ended up, that chapel talk that I gave, which was about racial justice, ended up as part of a petition called Save GCC from CRT, Save Grove City College from Critical Race Theory, and they cited my chapel presentation as one of the um, pieces of evidence of a slide or a mission drift of the college. Well, Long story short, there was a subcommittee of the board of directors that, that, that was formed to investigate this supposed mission drift. They came back with this terribly written, terribly researched report that said it was, quote, a mistake to invite me to speak at chapel. And I held out some hope that the board as a whole might either reject the report or at least say, oh, we got to tighten this up. No. None of that happened. They voted and they accepted and adopted that report in full that said it was a mistake to invite me to chapel and more importantly, through some of their very own professors under the bus and clamped down in terms of oversight and regulation of anything that might speak to issues of racial justice to the point of it really being prohibitive and, and really instilling a sense of fear in uh, professors and students who, who want to learn more about racial justice. And here's the thing, it's not happening just at one college or university. This is widespread, particularly across Christian colleges and universities. As a result of all this stuff going on at Grove City College, I spoke to some students at the school who really actually want racial justice, want to see racial progress. And we were talking about ideas about, about what could we do, how could we collaborate, what could they do. One of the things that they were really excited about was this idea of a teaching series where we actually gave accurate information about critical race theory instead of this propaganda about it designed to instill fear. And so that's where this series, Those Meddling Kids, came from. And why Those Meddling Kids? Because these are college students at Christian schools who have the audacity, the unmitigated gall to think that their schools, especially being faith-based, might help promote racial justice, might help move toward racial progress. And so they're asking questions, they're holding events, they're inviting speakers, and it's because they're meddling with a racist status quo that uh, some of these administrators, trustees, alumni have reacted so strongly and negatively to those efforts at racial justice. So one of the best ways to push back against what I call this anti-CRT crusade to push back against the misinformation and the false information is to provide accurate information. So what is this teaching series? It's a multi-part series that addresses critical race theory with accurate information and equips people, particularly students at Christian colleges and universities, to be more racially aware and to work toward racial justice on their campuses and in their communities. So, uh, to give you an overview of what's actually in this series, here are some of the topics. Uh, we have 
what is critical race theory, where I talk to uh, Professor Robert Chow Romero at UCLA, who's a historian. He's got his PhD in history, but he's also uh, a lawyer. He, he went to law school, and so he was actually trained in law school in critical race theory. So uh, a wonderful resource uh, in terms of knowledge and information about what critical race theory actually is. So we, 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 we kick off the series simply defining what it is and also what it isn't. We're going to talk to um, Dr. Otis Pickett, who's the university historian at Clemson University, about a history of racism at Christian colleges and universities, other topics, white Christian nationalism, at, in Christian higher ed, we're going to talk about keeping our eye on the ball. CRT is uh, the anti CRT crusade is really a distraction, and the real threat and the real danger is from Christian nationalism. We're going to talk about the anti CRT industrial complex. How do all these institutions and the money and the politics and the Christian higher ed, how does that work together to form this? ecosystem of misinformation and fear-mongering around critical race theory. We're going to talk uh, about um, different ways to understand faith and politics by looking at the black church tradition. We're going to talk about uh, building an anti-racist cultural, in anti-racist culture in uh, institutions and in Christian higher, he higher ed. We're going to talk about healing from racial trauma. We're going to talk about pastoral responses to the anti-CRT crusade. And we're going to talk about how to protest or, 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 or fight back against this anti-CRT crusade. So you, you can tell <laughs> these are incredible topics and, and you won't want to miss it. It is geared specifically toward Christian college, it is geared specifically towards students at Christian colleges and universities, but this information is going to be universally applicable, y'all. So no matter where you are in life, what stage, what age, um, you're going to want to tune into this. It's going to be available in video format on my YouTube channel. I'll post a link in this post. Uh, we're going to hopefully be releasing it starting the week of August 8th, August 9th. Um, and, and we'll be, be releasing a couple of episodes each day. So you're going to want to follow along each day until all the episodes are released. This video is just an introduction, just to say coming soon, just to give you a heads up. I would love for you to spread the word. So share this video with people, especially the young people in your life who, who might be college age. They don't even necessarily need to be enrolled in an institution. But uh, uh, it's critical that younger people know about what this is and how it's going. My hope is that this gets used in like a small group setting. Y'all, I tried my best <laughs> to keep these to 20, 25 minutes. I failed in almost every case <laughs> because the information is so good, so rich, so valuable, so important. We just had to keep the conversation going. So they're all around 30 to 35 minutes, but hopefully you can um, watch it either before or during your meeting and then have a discussion afterwards about this this critical issue of the anti-CRT crusade, not only in Christian higher ed, but, but really across U.S. society. So the hope is that you would use it in community, in groups. You can use this at church. Uh, if you're a, a professor or a teacher, you can use this in your classes. Um, if you're a student or a young person, you can use this on your own independently or better yet with a small group of friends um, and, and, and just, just have at it. Use this material as a conversation starter and hopefully as something that can help, you mo help motivate you toward informed action. So... We're not done yet. As I record this, we are still completing interviews. We've got some editing to do, um, but hopefully it will be ready very soon, and I'm doing it for you. This is all out of pocket. This is not sponsored by anyone or anything. It's just because there is a need there. But if you do want to support, the best way is to become a paid subscriber to my newsletter. You can go to jamartisby.substack.com, and you can subscribe uh, and become a paid subscriber to help support more of this work. Also, if you are in 
Christian higher ed or just working at a college or university or another institution and you want to hear more about Christian nationalism, a history of racism in Christianity, how to fight racism, which is the topic of my second book, um, all of it can be tailored toward faith-based or secular audiences. You can also book me to speak at your event and I'll post a link to um, my, my speaking agency as well. So there are ways that you can support, but all of this is provided for free just because it's so important, just because the issue is so urgent. Would love for you to spread the word to the young people in your life, to young people around college age, so that they can be equipped to, to be armed against this battle uh, against critical race theory and to, to keep an eye out for what a healthy faith looks like and how we might together move closer toward a racially just and equitable future. Thanks so much.